Welcome to the Nan Makeup Project Pen, where we are flipping the script on our beauty routines. In a world of constant temptation, it's time to use what we already have. So throughout this journey, we will rediscover forgotten products and commit to using them up. It's about fostering mindfulness, being aware of what we own and resisting unnecessary purchases. So join me as we minimize our collection, one product at a time. Let's embrace a simpler, mindful approach to beauty. Let's make every product count. Hey, welcome back to my channel. So I was trying to use up my products, all of my beauty and skincare products and kind of reduce my consumerism. We introduced a few months ago the project pen update for the non-makeup items. Uh, and let's go today through this. We have quite a few empties, not only the ones that were in the project pen, but also just random empties that I did empty, so let's talk through them. I will tell you what I liked, what I didn't, and what was worth it, in my opinion. Uh, for reference, my skin is quite on the drier side. I do have pimples here and there, and I do have rosacea, but it's sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not, so it's like depends on the day and how I'm feeling, how stressed I am. So let's get through these. Let's start with the ones that are still in the project pen and we're still working on, and then we will move on to all the empties. There is a lot of them, so. I guess we can start with my nemesis. I'm honestly strongly considering just decluttering this product because I hate the packaging so much. It's just, it's not it. I told you before that it's like leaking and it's nasty. And the product itself, I find it too heavy, at least for my hair, because, yeah, I don't know. Even though it's quite dry, my hair, uh, it is really fine. So I wouldn't recommend it for somebody who has fine hair and like really thin hair. So it is quite heavy. Uh, I do use it sometimes after I blow dry, sometimes before, when I use it before, uh, like straight after I wash my hair, it is much better than after. After it just looks like a greasy mess. So it's the Giso Honey Infused Hair Oil. We are making progress on it, but yeah, I, I am considering decluttering it because I just don't like it. If you know any hair oils that like works for you, that you love, do let me know in the comments, please, because I'm trying to find a good hair oil that's not too heavy, but still kind of hydrates, but I haven't been able to do that. The other thing, the hair thing we're working on is way. I don't know, I've been using and it smells really good, but hair pomade. We are also making quite good progress. I haven't been reaching for it. I have been actually reaching for the eyebrow gel to kind of slick my flyaways, but this one was great. I will try to use it. Yeah, it still smells fine. I will try to use it up as much as possible, but uh, I did really enjoy this one. Um, I I do only use it when my hair also is already dirty and I will wash it like next day or the same day because it doesn't look good when, yeah, on the fresh hair. But if you just use tiniest, tiniest bit just to kind of slick it, it's working great. Alpha H Liquid Gold Midnight Reboot Serum with 14% glycolic acid and trippy Tri tripeptide? Tripeptide? <laughs> I think it's working nice. I use it like once in three -ish days, uh, kind of like um, exfoliation night, you can say. And it's an overnight serum. It says that it effectively resurfaces the skin and optimizes the absorption of active ingredients. Yeah, restores firmness while collagen stimulates tripeptide and uh, antioxidant. Anyway. Working great, I think we are almost done with it. So yeah, I have been really enjoying Alpha H products. I've tried quite a few and all of them have been really great on my skin. The one thing I think we need to declutter because I think at least based on my skincare inventory, I think it expired like months ago. I do try to follow this, but it smells fine. So I thought like it's fine to use it. This is the Pure Fine Clay Mask. It is. It was quite expensive, but I was sent it. I do enjoy it. Um, I just. I need to use face masks more often. I just. I'm just too lazy to use them. I don't know. Same with body care. I just find it too complicated. But yeah, I really need to use these. I think I will use it a few more times. But 
was the next declutter for sure we're gonna declutter this one this biomary balancing face mist i've been enjoying it i don't think it, it does too much like i haven't seen any difference but also i haven't been using it religiously um but yeah it's been great uh it's uh with probiotics so it's supposedly really good for your skin i've been really enjoying this brand as well affordable i love the packaging it's like really cute and it's been working really good for my skin yeah then we have this one which i've been it's been lasting so long and i've been using it it gives really natural results i love the way my skin looks next day it's like looks really healthy and really glowy uh, this is the Saint Tropez self tan purity bronzing water face mist natural glowing skin yeah so it's like the tanning mist has been working really great sometimes it's not evenly when like I spray it and few big sprays go on to one side of the face or whatever I just need to spray it like evenly and quite far so it's pretty even I do need to use it more before it expires and another thing is way hand lotion this huge thing um i've been liking it too uh, i have not been reaching for it as i said i think last time but now i have been using it more on my body as well because i do want to use it up and i have been actually mixing it with these booty drops when i use it on my body and when i use it on my hands i just use it as it is it's great a lot of people love it I do like it but I'm not like obsessed with it but yeah this duo has been really great I'm pretty sure we're like somewhere here it's like not too much left another few things that I will add to this non-makeup project pen is this Kylie skin coconut body lotion I do really enjoy this one it sinks into the skin quite fast it smells great and it's quite moisturizing it's not like your heaviest body lotion but it's really nice and I have been really enjoying this one but I do need to start using it more and start just doing body care more and another thing I have been using it all the time and I find it really helpful for spots and pimples and for me it's really been neutralizing the redness like really helping with it this is the dr sam's flawless neutralizing gel it's been really really good i'm pretty sure i have a discount code with them i'm gonna check it if yes i'm gonna link it down below actually a lot of the products i use there face wash has been amazing use their vitamin c serum not my favorite um, use their cream has been great but this one it's so good like I I really really like it's really working let's move on to all the empties we have a lot of empties from the past three months I feel like I, I did say I will not like I will try to do low by year during this year for makeup and skincare but I feel like everything just finished at once like it always does so I do need to repurchase these things but I'm gonna wait for now and just hold off and like use all the things that I have left over and then we're gonna we're gonna repurchase some things and yeah I, I'm just trying to make sure I have one of thing so I don't like over accumulate things and then forget to use them that's why like I have the makeup and skincare inventory that's really helpful for those things so let's go through these and i will tell you which was worth it which one not first thing is this natalie's glow body lotion it was really thin consistency it was quite nice but really watery so i was not sure how i feel about it like i prefer something either thicker or like a oil like body oil this was kind of in between but i did enjoy using it it was really nice on the skin it, it just wasn't as moisturizing as i would like it to be because i use body care only like once a month so i do need to make sure it's really moisturized moisturizing so yeah this one was not enough for me as I use it every month like once a month but if you use your body care like every day every other day I feel like this one would be great and you would really enjoy it it smelled really nice it looked nice after applying this one is an empty I don't think I would repurchase it but it was a great one another empty I will just go in random order is this Tatcha dewy skin cream I 
wanted to try it for such a long time because I saw so many people rave about it but I couldn't like pay so much for the face cream but I loved it honestly um, I bought it with 20% off I think on Space and K and I loved it it's such a luxurious experience like I don't know I love this little a spoon that it has on top. I love the smell of it. It just smells expensive. It feels really nice on the skin. The skin feels nice after applying. I really really love this one and I think I would repurchase it again on discount. Yeah, because yeah, it was it was really nice. I would definitely recommend trying maybe a mini. They sometimes have like this, this really nice sets. Uh, I bought one of the sets as well and I just use it when I travel like with the mini things one of these is this Tatcha essence this was like from the mini set just to try out things uh, this one though I didn't like I mean it was okay but I just didn't feel any difference I didn't see any difference like it was just kind of like a water basically I don't know I I don't get it it was really watery it was just yeah, I didn't feel it at all on my skin, so um, yeah, I wouldn't repurchase this one, but this one though, it's so good. Another thing from Bioma is this melting balm cleanser, which was great. I feel like it didn't... Oh, actually... I don't remember. I think it did take off makeup really nicely. Maybe I did have obviously leftover from like waterproof mascara, uh, but other than that, it took off really nicely and was the second cleanse everything yeah went off it was really affordable smelled nice i mean i don't think it had actually any smell yeah it smells a bit like medicine-y but not in a bad way yeah it was really nice it felt nice on the skin affordable like the packaging it's like really nice and i love the colors of them I just finished today this is naturium vitamin c complex serum I did enjoy it, it's not my favorite vitamin C serum, I think my favorite one is from Alpha H, it's like the vitamin C paste, that one was great and I actually saw and felt the difference. Uh, this one was nice but I don't think I saw that much, wait, it says to use shake well, I don't think I ever shook it. Well maybe that's on me that it didn't work that great but <laughs> yeah. We finished this one. There's so many great vitamin C's out there that I want to try so I don't think I would repurchase this one. I'm starting now the Korean one that everyone was raving about on TikTok so I will report to you back. Ordinary multi-peptide HA serum and I have the hyaluronic serum also finished. I don't, honestly I don't know why I repurchased it. I remember before I tried the Ordinary didn't work that great for me. I don't think it did that much and yeah these ones were not an exception so yeah it, it was okay like it's good like basic skincare but it didn't work that great for me so yeah i wouldn't repurchase this one sunday riley eye ceramide moisturizing cream i feel like it finished for me really fast it finished maybe in a few months but my boyfriend also used it so maybe that's why i did like I don't know how to explain the scent but it smells kind of sweetish and it it's really thick and it felt really nice on the skin especially for like the night evening moisturizer it felt amazing my skin loved like ceramides my favorite ceramide moisturizer which I need to repurchase and if you haven't tried it's so good and I think everyone like with all the skin types would love it is the Dr. Jarrett Ceramide uh, cream it's amazing especially for like colder months this one was great it was really expensive I got it in as part of like some set so it wasn't much but I don't think I would repurchase it for the price it is but maybe it was discount but I really really enjoyed this one and I usually not that getting along with Sander Riley products. Then we have hair care, we have this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. Great mask, yeah, just basic, really moisturizing, smelled good. Yeah, I, I have no like bad things to say about this. I might repurchase it. It was really good, yeah, no complaints.
Um, Brioche has like some great hair care products and they're like the best winner award allure clean beauty and all of the shebang so yeah that one was great it's Lia Lani morning moisture elixir it's like kind of like a moisturizer oil serum hybrid I did really really like it it was really really like moisturizing but it could feel sometimes like too oily on the skin i don't think it would be great for you if you have an oily skin maybe for the evening um, but it smelled amazing i loved the smell of it i have never heard about this brand prior they sent it to me well not them but somebody the smell is so nice like it's sweet it's nice it's leaking a bit because it was just laying but this one was great and I definitely want to try more from this brand. Cosrx Retinol 0.5 Super Vitamin E. Yeah, it was it was a good retinol. I religiously use them. I actually need to repurchase one. I don't have one right now. So I need to purchase some new one. And this one is with Vitamin E. It's squaling, squaling and improves radiance, firmness. Yeah, I did really enjoy it. It is really small. It's like 20 milliliters, so it finished quite fast. Boy, there's some left still. Interesting. It was okay one. I might repurchase it in the future, but it was quite expensive for like a Cosrx plus like 20 milliliters. Then I have the Frank Body But First Coffee, like a body cream, a body hydrator. I found it too thick, like for, for my skin. And it smelled like, I don't know, it smelled like coffee, but kind of like, I don't know, it just, it smelled a bit off. Maybe it's just because it's kind of expired already but it's melted a bit off. I don't love the packaging. I prefer like squeezy tubes, <laughs> uh, like the one that this has. It's like so much more convenient. This one I had to like dig out and then it got under my nails and it was a bit annoying. And to spread it, it was so, so thick. I had to like use it with body oil. It's okay, I, don't, I wouldn't repurchase this one. Algenist Niacinamide Moisture Veil. I really really enjoyed this one. It's kind of glowy. It has like glitterish parts in it, but not glitter. So it makes your skin look really nice in the morning, especially like before you put your makeup on, just adds this glow. So I really really enjoyed this one. It is I think quite expensive, but I might repurchase it if it is somewhere on discount. But I really really enjoyed how this made my skin feel and look and it's really moisturizing as well we almost done we are like we have five products left so stay with me then we have this lancer retexturizing treatment with glycolic acid i used it maybe once in three days ish i still have some left because i didn't finish it um, but it was already coming to expiry and especially with like exfoliating products i try to be really like good with staying within those expiration dates and this one was like few months past after opening so i used it on my body a bit i found it like it was really nice after applying it my skin felt really really soft and really nice it is it was quite harsh so it did like burn a bit but like tingle a bit so yeah just keep that in mind and i think it's quite expensive one uh, but i did enjoy using it and my skin felt really nice but if you have sensitive skin like more sensitive than i do like mine is sensitive but not too much like it can handle some stuff then i wouldn't recommend this one but if your skin like not too sensitive then this one would be great for like those exfoliating nights glow toner with niacinamide portide peptide exfoliative and i really really liked this one in the mornings i used it and yeah it's just really nice toner like i did think my skin was like really nice while i was using it 
and well still okayish so this one was really great i didn't expect to like it right now i'm using the road milky toner that one i love even more but this one was great i might repurchase it sometime in the future uh, then we have this kylie skin glow powder cleanser it was okay i preferred the dermalogica microfoliant but it is quite expensive this one because it was in my bathroom there is a lot left but because it was in my bathroom it's kind of like all crumped up inside so it doesn't come out anymore uh, but it was okay one like i have no complaints about it but the packaging could use some work like a lot of the kylie packaging is like uh, quite wonky like i mean clothes and stuff is fine but it's quite wonky here so uh, that's just something but her actually came here quite quite nice i would say for the price sigma shampoo brush brush shampoo it was okay i wouldn't repurchase it i just don't like foamy stuff i feel like they don't like same with the with the face wash with the brush wash i don't like foamy stuff because i feel like it doesn't clean that great i prefer right now i'm using and it's amazing if you're looking for one for the brush cleaner that one is so good and so easy to use is the beauty blender solid cleanser that one is so great Okay, and we have Bioma Creamy Jelly Cleanser, uh, also great one. I did really enjoy it, but if you have sensitive eyes, that wouldn't be this one wouldn't be great. Even when I was washing my face with my eyes closed and I didn't open them, it still stung my sting. Is that the word? Sting? 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 You know what I mean. Uh, it hurt my eyes a bit even when they were closed so if you have sensitive eyes this one wouldn't be great but otherwise it's pretty nice really like basic cleanser and cleans really nicely but it doesn't like strip your skin so it doesn't feel too tight after you cleanse but still cleanses really nice we are done that was a lot of a lot of empties i think i need to introduce few more things into my project pen but also i don't think i have any that like come to expire so like i'm not gonna push myself i don't have that many products open i try not to open too many products at once so i can actually use them up and give them love they deserve so yeah that's that's it let me know if you tried any of these products if you like them um, if you want to try any of them and I'll see you with another non make a project pen update in a few months i think so we can actually use up quite a few more products and we can go through them talk about them and i will let you know what my thoughts are if yeah you're curious so subscribe for for more project pen and we are doing also a make a project pen which video coming soon we have quite a few products yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in another one soon.